Mike Lane's occupied here, and we have some big, big names, some big hitters on that list. Look at that, Lotta Fries in two for Europe. Maria Belmonte, who's already won one event here tonight in lane four, and Katie Ledecky, who was, for the Americans, the emerging star of 2012, and has taken Rebecca Adlington's 800 freestyle record long course this year. Uh, from a European point of view and a British point of view, we don't like it very much, but the Americans love that. <laughs> this is just going to be an incredible race. We talked about a lot of threes. Chloe Sutton, silver medalist in the 400 metres freestyle at the World Short Course last year. Belmonte, the world record holder. Katie Ledecky, absolute superstar. Uh, Costa in lane number six, and then her own Jazz Carlin in lane eight. You know, it's just a fantastic feel. And to be honest with you, I know Belmonte is the world record holder, but who would bet against Ledecky and certainly Chloe Sutton is very good as well yeah I wouldn't because Ledecky whenever she gets in the pool seems to have a race head on knows what she's doing has that assassin smile when she lets it go she's looking very focused there though not showing any signs of humour just with the job in mind in hand Gillian Ryan similarly for the USA she'll go in seven Ledecky is in five Chloe Sutton not to be discounted either goes in three here come the Europeans, another day. Here's Lotta Fries. She and Rebecca Abington have had some uh, good scraps over the years. In the 800 and indeed the 1500. She goes in two. Now, she's already won one tonight. Thumbs up from Maria Belmonte. Could she do a double here? And give Europe another win. She's up against a very powerful swimmer alongside her. Manny Costa for Spain. Going in six. And from Wales, here's Jazz Carlin. Kind of situation she will relish. She's getting back into form. Also uh, in good long course form in 2014. Now, can she finish off 2013 with something exceptional here? It's in a stacked field, let me tell you. There are so many big names here and so many big performers. Getting points is going to be a tricky job, whoever you are, even if you are the Olympic champion. Ledecky goes in five. Now, interesting, because we have two of the big hitters side by side. It won't always happen tonight or indeed on Saturday afternoon, but we do have two of the big hitters side by side. Belmonte of Spain in four, Ledecky in five. Will they be keeping a watchful eye on each other? They already are, the first 25. Yeah, they certainly will be. You know, this is a, set up as an interesting race. They're going head to head. The minute of the first opening 50 metres, it is Ledecky that's going out strong. Her tactics is probably going to, to break Belmonte. Like we said earlier on, she is the world record holder for this event, but at the minute, Ledecky is trying to break her. She's probably two metres up already over the first three lengths. Does she have the eye on the USA record held by Katie Hart, 357.07? Belmonte has the European and world record, 354.52. Three seconds quicker than she's been with Katie Hart. But she's dealing with a completely different animal here. Look at that world record, like two of them, three of them, three of them are either ahead of it or on it. This is a very quick race. Now, we've seen the world record line come into play before and disappear. I don't think we will at this one. Katie Ledecky, incredibly strong athlete. Like you were saying earlier about racing with Rebecca Adlington at the 2012 Olympic Games. She went out fast then. We all thought she was going to die. Who's this 14-year-old girl taking on the Olympic champion? And then she just carried on and just went faster and faster. Here she's gone out quick, but it looks like actually it's starting to hurt her a little bit and she's just backed off with Belamonte now starting to take the lead. Yeah, also Costa's involved as well. The two Spanish are trying to lead by example. And Ledecky went off like an absolute scared rabbit, has lost a bit of going down. This might be that she thought she was going too quickly and wants to hold something in reserve, or is it that? She just doesn't have quite what it takes to finish this one off, but certainly Belmonte does. We've seen her do it before. And the moment is one and two for Europe, and Ledecky is losing ground. Yeah, and Lottie Fries in lane number two is just fourth, starting to move up into third place. So if we can keep this together, it'll be a one, two, three for Europe, but certainly Katie Ledecky is going to have something to say about that. Plenty of time. Remember, it's 16 lengths of this tall cross pool. There's still lots of time to go. Only halfway when they uh, come into the turn next time. 
And that world record line is starting to disappear from view. That pace early on was just, well, just too much. And look at that. Look at that. One, two, three for Europe now. Yeah, the deck is not in the form that we probably thought she was. She really is starting to struggle. I'm surprised to see her like this after so little of the race gone. She's gone a little bit crabby. She's really breathing in and out of the turn. This is not the Katie Ledecky that we probably were expecting, but this is a fantastic opportunity for the European All-Stars to get a 1-2-3. Lottie Fries, incredibly fit athlete. Belamonte, already seen her today. Incredible good form. And Costa in lane number six is having a fantastic race. 100 to go, and Europe are very much in control of this, and you don't see Ledecky coming back from this, you really don't. She's going further and further back now. She's got to call on all her resources, you can see in the centre of the pool. She's just making no headway, no imprint on this race, and it's just a question of which of the Europeans, and I think that too much south, we know it's going to be the main Spaniard here. Already won one event, on her way to winning number two. Maria Belmonte is looking amazingly strong. Look at the gap between first and second, and one point second, three in third. How interesting, this even Jazz Carlin has just taken over Ledecky, so European All-Stars have got one, two, three and four. Only the top three places can score points, and it is going to be one, two, three, the first one of the duel 2013, and it's going to go to the European All-Stars. And what a performance, you yeah, think, somewhat early. An hour or so ago, she was in the pool. She's back again. She's back for more. She wants the points. Europe won the point. She's going to get the points. Belmonte won. Costa second. Three third. Fourth Carlin. One, two, three, four for Europe. Maximum points for the first time. All nine secured by the Spaniards and by the Dane. And Jess Carlin, 4-0-1. 13, just outside her personal best. Well, Maria Belmonte, you're more than welcome to Glasgow. You have now become a token Scot. <laughs> I don't think she's got the accent just yet, Bob. Give her another week and she'll have it. But that was a fantastic swim. You know, she did, she wasn't too scared when Ledecky went out. We, like we said, we saw her do that at the Olympic Games and hang on. But she just kept calm. She kept with her. And after 100 metres, she then led and they went all the way to the end. And it's a fantastic race and a brilliant race for the European All-Stars. One, two, three and four. That's going to have massive confidence through the team. And that is just pushing the point score further and further into the European All-Stars um, favor Europe take it to the max with two Spaniards at the top Belmonte and Costa one and two Fries in third place two of them going sub four minutes the gap in the end was massive between Maria Belmonte Mary Costa brother Fries and look at that the European flag is there to recede one two three four Katie Ledecky in the end finishing in sixth place she went off so, so quickly, and we're thinking, here we go, another Ledecky procession, not the case. She uh, drifted badly behind. We, we were looking at the USA record at one stage, thinking, well, uh, maybe Katie Hoff's record's on the cards. Not to be.